Welcome back. Today we're discussing mental and physical health. So ladies, we also realize that women in the industry experience higher rates of substance abuse. Did any of you use while you were in the industry? I entered the industry because of my drug addiction. Mm -hmm. So I started as an addict and then needed to enter the industry to feed the habit. Um, however, when I entered the industry, my habit was $200 a day. And by the time I exited, it was over a thousand a day. Whew. So obviously multiplied. Um, and then I would use heroin to numb my pain. And then I would use speed and ecstasy so the men thought that I was actually enjoying myself. So I was just a cocktail of disaster. You are a walking miracle, Bronwyn. Wow. Did anybody else have any experience with substance abuse? Um, I sporadically used drugs, and it was um, mostly when I was in a three and a half year abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. So he brought drugs into our home, and that's when I started doing it. Um, and I've done crystal meth, coke, ecstasy, marijuana. I used to smoke that every day, all day long. Um, when I was on the set though, however, I didn't use it. So if I went to a set and we were filming, I disassociated. So mm -hmm. I just kind of mentally checked out and that was rather easy for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, I didn't really use because I found it very easy because of my history of trauma to disassociate and just check out. Mm -hmm. um, and I was also really afraid of being out of control. I, I got drunk at work twice and I just felt so um, out of control that it really made me afraid because I was so afraid of you know, being attacked or raped. And then, and I thought, I felt like it messed with my money too. So yeah. I didn't use it. So. It does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First and foremost, I was a hustler. Yeah, which <laughs> is great. <laughs> And Harmony, you know, earlier in another episode, just in case someone didn't see it, you were talking about school and education being a drug. Would you just talk about that for a second in case someone missed the other episode? Yeah, that's true. So the other thing is I really felt like um, I turned to education and knowledge. I thought that knowledge was going to save me. It was my life raft. I thought education was that. So um, when I found myself in really difficult and tough situations, like where someone else might have turned to um, drugs, I would literally open up my school books and just throw myself into them and into the process of learning and it, it distracted me from my life. Because mm -hmm. a drug really, even though we're talking about substance abuse, could be anything. You could be it's, addicted to love, you could be addicted to relationships, it's the addiction part. And it's a, about escapism really, yeah. so I, I use different things to escape. Yeah. And so do you guys think that um, your substance abuse might be connected to needing to cope with the psychological effects of the industry? My multiplication of my drug of my drug use was to cope, definitely. Mm. It was kind of like I entered the industry to pay for the habit and then, you know, on that first night it was like sleeping with four strangers in one night. I'd never done that before, obviously. Yeah. And so it was like, oh, okay. But then I got to the paycheck part and it was like, oh, I can use more heroin in one shot than I've ever done before. So that began the cycle for me that mm. could have destroyed my life. Um, for me, well, I, um, I did it when I was in the abusive relationship, so it was three and a half years, and I did it mostly to cope with the relationship, but this relationship is kind of like a, um, a lot of women in the industry um, have abusive relationships, and um, actually in the porn industry, they call it a suitcase pimp, mm -hmm. and so they kind of leech off of the girls and take their money and, you know, pretty much like a pimp. They call it that in stripping, too. Wow. Mm -hmm. What about you, Harmony, just with the women that you've worked with? Do you see a lot of substance abuse? And Absolutely. What's I, what I found really interesting is for some women that when they leave the industry, you know, these like they'll be using meth regularly. And meth is a very hard addiction to kick. I worked for Department of Children and Family Services, and I saw women, you know, give up their children because they weren't able to kick that addiction. But I've seen women walk away from the industry, and because they were using it to cope with sex work, when they walked away, they were, they were able to walk away from drugs too, which is quite phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Wow. So coming up, we're going to be talking about having a healthy self-image. 